Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here with my Etsy sales. It's been for maybe the last month or so. Um, I have not been putting a whole lot of things up for sale lately because just uh, life and things have been going on. So, but I wanted to come around and share with you the things that have sold, you know, over the last month or so and just how things have been going with that. And then I'll come back and do eBay later because there were quite a few on Etsy, so I thought I would just break it up this time. So. Hello, hello. If you are new, my name is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I make videos all about making and saving money. A lot of the ways I say make money, rather, is by selling things on eBay and Etsy, and that's what this video is about. So, I will share the things that have sold and maybe give some tips along the way as to stuff that might help you. And my lipstick's really red. Let's just take care of that real fast. Yep. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Hey, I and I am live, so let me pop the chat up so we can say hey to everybody. Where are you, chat? There you are. Hey, hey, Henry. Hi, Maggie. And Julie is a thrifty paper garden. Hi, Clarence Ninja and Joni. Flippin' Optimist. Hey. <laughs> hey, Cindy and Real Liquidation. Nice to meet you. Hi, Margaret. And okay, Wendy's there. Patty, perhaps. No sound. Not again. Oh. <gasps> Is there sound now? Is it, was it my earphones? Don't tell me we are having this problem again. Tell me if you can hear me now. Is it just me? I have a different computer on. You're kidding me, right? Hang on, let me come over and see if it's, if I can hear it. <gasps> no way. Okay, nobody's saying anything in the chat. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear it? Can, I can hear it. Maybe it's Joni. Is there sound now? I can hear me. Was it my earphones? Don't tell me. <laughs> Things up for sale. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can hear me. That's cool. No, what have I done? Oh gosh. See? The dramas of going live. <laughs> oh well. We'll just move forward. <laughs> well, it's happened before, Joni. It has happened before, you know. And I had to shut the whole thing down. I was on a different computer though, so I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Welcome if you're new here. This is par for the course. <laughs> All right. Okay, good, good. It's even better now. Okay, I'll take this off then. We'll just take that right off there. Okay, Etsy sales. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, we're live, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> your original audio was good after you switched your sound off. My okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Well, let's do this then. I'm going to switch over and share with you what has sold on Etsy and eBay. Let me move my chat up so we can see the latest bits. I'm doing really well. Wait, are you talking to the Margaret in the chat? Or are you talking to the me, Margaret? I'm doing really well. You know, um, we're, we're, I'm starting to homeschool my kids soon. So um, we've been getting ready for that. And I have started a new channel, which I'm going to be putting some videos on over there as well. And I don't know if I have it linked down below, but it's um, Texas Gal Homeschool. So if you're interested, I'd love to have you join over there because trials and tribulations and all that fun stuff. So no sound, nothing here, real liquidation. Oh, dear. Okay. Refresh. Refresh. All right. So let's get started with this. Um, this is a card. I got these. And this is a brand called um, Papyrus, as you can see up there, which is a really expensive brand greeting card brand. So if you find these for pretty cheap, you can flip them, you know, and they're like this big, they're flat, you can save them. And because, I know it's not vintage, but because you can sell supplies on Etsy, I was able to sell this on Etsy. So this sold for $6.25. Is that my cat or my kid back there? <laughs> hey everybody. And I've started putting in like an inventory note for me so I know how much I spent on it. Um, so I spent 25 cents on this card when I bought it. So there's that. Is Etsy search engine like eBay, do they have, or do they have to have your store name? Um, no, they have a search engine. Like people can search for your stuff to buy. I mean, if you want my store name, it's, I'm Texas Gal Treasures everywhere. Hey, Jason, how's it going? <laughs> you didn't miss anything. Just the normal problems, you know, with the, I don't know, technical difficulties. Anyway, so there's that. That one's sold. Then next up, some of these I shared, if you watched, actually, I was like, I know I shared these. I know I talked about these. And then I realized I shared them when I was on Jason's show. Because I was like, I was looking and looking in my, um, in my notes. I was like, no, I know I shared this. 
Um, but yeah, it was when I was co-hosting with Jason. So these sold, and these are pewter um, twist-handled serving spoon and fork, and they sold for $31.99. And let's see if I put an inventory note down there. Nope, I didn't. Um, but I'm, I think I bought, bought them for 3 or $4.00. So there's those. So that's a pretty good profit on that. That's probably about a 20 something dollar profit. Yep. Okay, and this one I know I, I shared as well. This is a um, what, Biono, Bueno, Figaro, Pinocchio. And this is one of those Jim Shore. They don't all go for crazy money, but this one sold for, let's see, I sold for $129.99. Yes, $129.99. So. Keep an eye out for that because some of the Jim Shore stuff can sell for good money. And then it's that, that whole thing like if you don't ask for a lot, you can't get a lot. So I didn't see, when I listed him, I didn't see another one quite like him. And it's a, a character that you don't necessarily see so much. I got him and I got Marie, um, Marie Jolie, the cat from Aristocats at the same time. And I think I spent two or three bucks on each of them, maybe four. Um, but it was at a garage sale. I remember that pretty clearly. So $129.99. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, everybody in the chat. Oh, go over there and hit the thumbs up button and, and subscribe if you're new. So here we go. This book, now I remember when I got this book being, I didn't understand what it was and I was joking about it because the, the title of the book is Tramp for the Lord. And I was just like, what in the world? Tramp for the Lord? Because in my brain, tramp is like, tramp, you know. <laughs> What'd you call me? Tramp. <laughs> yeah, there's an Otis Redding song, Tramp, that's I love. But I was thinking that kind of tramp. And this is more like tramp, like I'm tramping, I'm walking, right? And it's a, it's actually, a you know, a very reverent book. So, yeah, I was uh, joking when I bought this book about it, about tramp for the Lord. So if you, and again, if you have not heard the song Tramp by Otis Redding, you got to look that up. I love it. Anyway, this book sold for $17.99. I think I paid about 50 cents for it. I got it at the Rehome, the Habitat for Humanity Rehome store. Isn't that nuts? Okay. Then uh, this tie, oh gosh, ties. I've had this tie forever. This tie finally sold. This was back when I was trying free shipping. So it sold for $17.99. Finally. I've had it forever. I don't pick up ties anymore. No, I just don't. And then this book sold again. A Holocaust survivor heard her speak once in person. Wonderful. Oh, the, yes. <laughs> this is the tramp for the Lord, right? Okay. See, then I felt horrible because I was like, she's not a tramp, but I didn't know, right? And I know books, so I did not. I just thought tramp. It's it's, a, it's an easy mistake to make, right? Anyway, um, again, I'll, I don't pick up too many vintage children's books anymore. I was really into picking them up and selling them, but they can sit for a while. Some of them really sit, so I'll probably pick this up for a quarter. It sold for $12.99, which is still a nice, you know, probably $10 profit, but it's been sitting there. Oh, gosh, Maggie, now I feel horrible. <laughs> but maybe she's got a good sense of humor, right? <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Well, you know, you there's education to be had by everybody, right? Including myself. All right, next up, we have got this, which is also something that finally sold. I, I think I picked it up for two or three bucks, these lenses. And originally, I got it from my friend Kelly, who's a photographer. And she was like, mm, I don't really want those. Um, but they sold finally for $34.99. So probably still, you know, a good $25, $30 profit there. Ron's asking, do you sell mostly on Etsy or eBay? Well, you know, during the fourth quarter, I definitely have more sales on Etsy. And yeah, um, eBay, I generally in the rest of the year sell more on eBay, but it's, you know, usually half some halves. So I think more than one people fam hid from the Jews. I mean, from the Nazis. The Jews. I think, yeah, I think Anne Frank is definitely the famous one that hid, but I I think there were more that did too. But anyway, we won't get into history lessons now. I would hide as well. So <laughs> there's that, that's sold. Then next up, this is a panel, one of those like cut and sew type panels. So this one actually, yeah, this one was a panel 
probably bought it for two or three dollars at the Goodwill and it sold for twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Hey, how's it going? So next we have this. OK, now this one, I listed this so long ago. Just look one, the picture to the title. And then I have a story on this one. It's, it's kind of a sad story, but then also kind of like a slow down lady. So the lady that bought this before she bought it, she sent me a message and said, when and where did you acquire this? Like that was the message. When and where did you acquire this? And I was like, okay, that's kind of abrupt. So I answered back and said, um, well, this was part of my grandmother's collection. She collected happy holders and sugar shakers. And I acquired it when, you know, she passed away five years ago. So there was that. And then, and then she wrote back and was like, well, mine that was just like this was stolen you know or this it, she made it sound like this exact one was the one that was stolen from her was the way she made it sound I was like oh that's really sad i'm sorry that happened to you trust me this was in my my grandmother's collection not that i would have to explain where i got anything but you know i was like okay um whatever so she ended up buying it and as far as i know she's been happy with it she hasn't said anything so i paid zero for it and yeah, right, I got Nunya, Nunya store. So yeah, if, um, she bought it for $49.99. So if you're not looking at Happen Holders and Sugar Shakers, they can bring pretty good money. Maybe I ought to do a video about them sometime. Goodness knows I've sold enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this this was a sugar shaker that sold. And I actually have a hat pin holder that sold I'll share in, in just a minute. I mean, they might sit for a while, but that they can definitely bring in a nice profit if you find them for, for cheap enough. So next up, again, I've sold this Holy Bible. I didn't make any tramp jokes about it when I bought it because I knew what it was. Um, so probably either, either I picked it up for nothing or I think up to $3 is what I, um, probably the tops that I spend on them. Sugar shakers, yeah, it's for real. <laughs> $17.99 is what I um, sold this for, so that's good. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay, here we go. Happen Holder. So this Happen Holder, again, was also in my grandmother's collection. And so when you... Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong screen trying to show you the next picture. I stole it from you. That's what I should say. Like, oh, yeah, I came up to wherever you were in Missouri and stole it and brought it back down here. Yeah. So this is a, a hat pin holder, you know, back in the day when the women would wear the hats and they would put their hat pins and then they would take their hat pins off and have to stick them somewhere. They would stick them in their hat pin holder. So that is my hat pin holder. I didn't take a picture of the bottom of this thing. This is how old, how long ago it was that I listed this. So this was also, like I say, my grandmother's collection and it sold for $31.99. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, awesome. Okay, then next. Yes, I missed you. <laughs> Next up, this sold. I just thought this was so cute. And I think I might actually, I think I have two of them, or I had two. Maybe I sold the other one as well. It's this rooster mug. Super cute. Look at that face. Just look at that face. Okay. Um, so did I put how much I paid for this? Yeah, inventory note, 99 cents. So paid 99 cents for that. And it sold for $24.99. So after shipping and fees and everything, my net profit was probably right around 20 bucks. The fees on Etsy are 3.5% on the final value fee. And then I, I get this question a lot and I do charge shipping. So this price that I, this $24.99 is the price that they paid. And then they paid shipping on top of that. So except for the one that's high that, oh, oh anyway, it's a, <laughs> is it hazel? Oh gosh, I don't read every book before I sell it. Nope, I don't do that. Okay, next up, this tie tack sold. I love selling men's accessories. So, did I skip one? Um, so yeah, this sold for $14.99. I probably got this in a lot of other stuff. Um, I know I don't have a, it's been a while since this has been up. But uh, I think it probably came in a lot. Cause sometimes I'll get lots from like auctions, online auctions and things of, you know, mm, cufflinks and tie tacks and tie bars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, then here's another children's book that sold. Again, I'm not really picking these up anymore. Probably paid about a quarter for it, and it sold for $12.99. <laughs> Anytime, Krista. Um, I'm sorry, I want to learn about Etsy. 
What's special about your soul Bible? Um, people buy Bibles. Nothing extra special other than it's the Bible. And then some people, you know, just like with any book, maybe there's like 30, 30 versions of this particular book, but you want that one that grandma had, or you want that one that, you know, your mom read to you when you were a baby or you were a kid. So it's like that with any book. Like if there's a, ver you know, I love Anne of Green Gables. And so um, if I would want the version that I read growing up, my first book that I ever, my first chapter book, my grandmother got me was The Little Princess. And there's like a billion copies of that, like version, not version, but you know, cover pictures and stuff. But I, you know, that first one just is like stuck in your brain. And you might want to get that particular one. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> Long story short, sentimental value. Nostalgia, right? That's what we sell, nostalgia. Okay. So here we've got this panda bear face mug that sold for $24.99. I love stuff with animals, figural stuff. I don't think I have a, oh yeah, inventory note, 99 cents is what I paid for that. So, and I do have two of those, so I have another one of those. Ah, oh, get back to your cute face. You know, people collect animal stuff, like the rooster thing, the panda stuff. People, you know, people have their animal that they collect, so there you go. So $24.99 is what he sold for. Let's see, I'm missing stuff in the chat. There's a photo of you in the dictionary. <laughs> oh, thanks, Graham. <laughs> um, I have like 60 old books. I, I cross post them if they're old if they're you know more than 20 years old you can list them on Etsy so I put I put it on both yeah okay so this is a gothic scrapbook I have another one of these too and I got these at Tuesday morning because I thought they were awesome and I could list this even though I bought it at Tuesday morning the reason I can list this on Etsy is because it's a supply so it's, it's not vintage it's not handmade but it is a supply for scrapbookers and so that's what I did. I posted it there. And I, I don't think I have my No, I don't. Um, I'm trying to think what I paid for. I probably paid two or three bucks. Two or three bucks for it. Because it was in the clearance section when I got it. They have the clearance section at the back, which I love. Um, so, I paid, so they paid $45.99 for this gothic scrapbook, which I think is awesome. I just knew somebody. I, I knew somebody was gonna love it. You know, there are people that are really into that, and I couldn't find anything quite like it out there either. So, usually, you think scrapbooks like flowers and balloons, and I don't know. Maybe that's what I think of when I think of scrapbooks. But yeah. so, forty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents is what, and I paid a few bucks for it. Okay, this was a game of old maid, like. But it was in English and French, I think, was what was, yeah, Dom de Pique Burger, Hamburglar, you know. Anyway, so it was in multiple languages. I, I don't know why, but anyway, um, I picked this up because I did. I, I don't think I spent very much on it. And it sold for $8.99. Um, listen to the book, guys, on NPR. Oh, NPR is National Public Radio. I'll have to check it out because I... I have that Alexa, you know, and I listen to Ted, the Ted Radio Hour, and I think that comes on NPR. I wonder if they have book guys. I'll have to find out. Yeah. Okay. Then, next up, but Graham, you're in the UK, so you probably don't get enough. Well, you, I bet you can get it online. Right? You're in the UK, right, Graham? Okay, this sold. I actually need to ship it out. I have it boxed up. So this um, Packers hat, is it Snapback? or Yeah, Snapback hat sold. And it sold for $39.99. Uh, I don't normally pay more than two or three bucks for hats. So that's probably what I, I didn't have the lookup for that. Um, for instance, what, do you search comps on all of yours or just use Mad Margaret Instincts? <laughs> I do, I search comps. And then what I'll do is I look up, I do Google searches. And then I look on eBay solds. So I'll do Google search and I'll look, look at Google shopping, you know, and then I'll look on eBay sold and then I tend to go on the higher end. And then if I don't see anything like it, I just throw a crazy number at it. That's what I do. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 reading in the chat. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. 
So there's that. Thirty nine ninety nine is what. But then some of these things, as long as you don't mind sitting and waiting for the right person. Okay. Yes, I sold a rock. <laughs> so this was a piece of rough amber. I got this at a garage sale. I got this like metal. It looked like a little tool with the drawers, you know, where you would put your nuts and bolts and screws and stuff. Only it was full. All the little drawers were full of beads and bits of bone. That sounds gross, but like bone stuff, amber and glass beads and all sorts of stuff. Ivory, there's some ivory in there. And I got the whole thing for eight bucks. And this was in there. And so when I um, did my big amber, I call it my amber unit. When I did the whole month of amber stuff with jewelry lovers and sellers, this is one of the pieces that, you know, I shared that we tested, we did all the testing on it to show. So here's one of my pictures, you know, amber will glow, it will fluoresce under a, a UV light. So, and also, I don't have the picture of it floating, but, but it floats too. So it's really super, super duper light. Anyway, so <laughs> threw that picture in there so they could see it fluorescing and know that it was, it was amber. So yeah, rough amber nugget, nugget. <laughs> I spent, like I said, eight bucks for the whole like bin of, you know, drawers of stuff. And this sold for $14.99. That raw amber looks like something on the Lord of the Rings, right? And I, when I was doing my amber, I think I have video of it. And like the part of the, part of the thumbnail is this piece like floating in the, in the water. So yeah. Anyway, cool. There's that. Oh, and then this, I started doing mystery boxes of jewelry on my Etsy, in my Etsy store. Um, oh, that's good to know, Robert. I'm going to have to look into that. So, yeah, I sold some of these mystery boxes of jewelry. It's kind of like getting your own jewelry jar. comes with 20 to 30 pieces of jewelry, and I'm selling them for 20 bucks a piece. So, let's see. I sold two, three, four, five of them. So, I've sold five of these. Let me make sure I'm counting that right. Two, three, four, five. Five of these, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 bucks um, in jewelry boxes that have gone or are going out today. So there's that. Um, so basically, like it's 20, 20 bucks for this six by four by four box, and you'll get 20 to 30 pieces, or they'll get 20 to 30 pieces in it. I don't have a picture of what's in there. Maybe I should have taken pictures of it. Um, 20 to 30 pieces of jewelry, like not broken and junk and stuff like that. But what was I going to say? Yeah, so it ends up being like a dollar or less per piece. So there's those. I don't know why I felt like I needed to open them all up, but I just did. Okay, then this sold. It's my super shooter. Finally sold. And this one was in the basket for me to redonate because I was just like, why did I, why did I buy this thing? I think I spent 10 bucks on it. Where is it? Yeah, I spent $10 on this thing. Why would I do that? Oh, my gosh, you guys. And so also a tip. Pro tip, pro tip on Etsy is in my shop description. I put, I'm happy to take offers, you know, send me an email. Um, <laughs> but you already took all the good stuff. No, Jeff, I just have so much. No, I'm telling you, I, on the jewelry boxes, no, I, I've got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of stuff. And maybe if I recognize your name, I'll send you something special in there. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. This super shooter sold, and they did. This person did send me a, an email asking me um, if they could get a better offer. And now on eBay, I'm able to insert the the video, and then on Etsy, I put the link to the video. So I, I created a video here. I'll open it in a new tab. Go, so that they could see it working and see me messing with it or whatever. Right. So that's in there. You can hear it. I have it muted so you can't hear it. So whatever. Um, so that sold for a hundred bucks. So they so they sent I think I had a list for 120 and they sent me an offer for a hundred. And yes, I saw them listed on eBay for way less than that. But I just decided to put it up higher and wait. I'm like, if I'm gonna hang on to this box, I'm gonna ask a high price on it. How do I ship my mugs? Do I have a specific? Yeah, I do. And actually, I have a video that I show how I ship my mugs. I, I bubble wrap it. I put it in a 6x4x4 six by, six by four by four box. And then I stick it in a padded flat rate. And I tape that up and boom, send it. And I know Jason does FOMO. 
that his method. He has a video on that too. Mm. Clarence Ninja, there's a way on eBay because they, you can't have that. Um, let me show you. Stop, cookie press. Hang on. Let me get out of here and I'll show you. This is a. I'll open it up. I actually made a new video because there's new. There's the old way and then there's the new way. I'll just go to show you what the thread, the thing looks like. It's like a, you have to mess with the code. You have to mess with the code, but it's so worth doing. Ah, hang on. Insert eBay. Wait, embed. How do, why do I title it? I don't remember. Video. We're off track. T just a tiny bit. But that's okay. That's why we're here, right? We're here to learn. So this video here, the one with the car on it, this is the new way. This one is the old way. Can you even see that? This one with the purple, whatever, that's the old way. New way, how to add a video, 2017 updated version. It shows you how to do it. Ta-da! Okay, now how do I get me back to where I was? Like that, like that. There we go. <laughs> okay, oh, Jason's back. FOMO, baby. Yeah, he FOMOs it. Yeah, okay, Yankee Candles. Oh yeah, people love their smell, right? They get a smell. Is a video on eBay still mobile friendly? No, I, I don't know how to make it mobile friendly. I think it. I think the thing is you can do it if it's not an Apple phone because it has something to do with the, um, whatever it is when it pops it open to a new, what is that called? I can't think of what it's called. Yeah, you can, go, you can Google search it. Yeah, yeah. But if you want, there's that, because I'm a nerd like that. I make a video for everything. Whatever. Okay. Ah! Hang on. I lost my screens. Please don't do this to me. There we go. All right. I will definitely... Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, so now, where was I? Let me get back to... Because we were talking about the super shooter. So that was 100 bucks. And so, yeah, I spent 10 bucks on it, which was a lot for me to spend on something. But that's a good, that's a good return, right? Okay, then this sold too. It's a little ashtray, vintage ashtray. Um, where did it go on my thing? Engraved brass ashtray. And I spent, oh, I didn't put what I spent on it. Probably a dollar or less. And it sold for $24.99. So there's that. Pretty cool. Little doodad. So with all that, yeah, flash, that's it, that's it. I was like, there's something that it won't open in Apple and on my phone. I can't watch a flash video. That's what it is. But if you can watch Flash, then it'll open in a new tab. So let me create, let me add up all this sum and but um so without you know the fees and all of this stuff, my profits were seven hundred and ninety dollars, ten bucks and ninety-three. No, I paid ten bucks for it, I did. <laughs> um yeah, okay, so seven hundred and ninety dollars is what I've made on Etsy lately. And Hazel, how many things do I have in my Etsy store? 400 or something? It's down some. 532 items is what it's telling me. 500, that's my Etsy store. 532 items. Ta-da! Okay. So, hey guys. Um, okay, I'm looking at the... Okay, yeah. They're just talking amongst themselves. Yeah, so those are the things that I sold lately on Etsy. Hopefully you got a few tidbits or tips that you could use along the way. Again, if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. I make videos all about making and saving money, whether it's on Etsy or eBay or Merch by Amazon. Etsy take PayPal. I think so. I think so. It doesn't deposit my money to PayPal. It sends it to my bank account, so I don't know if that's what you mean. Uh, I'll probably have to do some more Etsy videos because I've been selling some things from my Etsy printful store. Um, that I can share as well. Maybe I'll do a video about that and, and share with that. Do I do vintage? Are you, I can. I think I may have one or two pieces. I don't do clothes. I don't sell clothes because I just don't like it. <laughs> I've tried. I have a few pieces, but I just don't get into selling clothes at all. But you can, for sure. People make a lot of money doing that. So anyway, that's that. Those are my Etsy sales. And thank you guys um, for coming. Let me know down in the comment section how your sales have been and are you selling on Etsy yet and if not are you gonna maybe in the new year because you can make some good money on Etsy definitely I'm making more money this Q4 most of my sales are are coming from Etsy definitely okay so that's it thanks for coming you guys and I will talk to you later <laughs> bye um, maybe oh gosh never mind
You hear that? That's my son playing with his gun back there. His toy gun. I forgot where the button is. I do this all the time, don't I? There it is. Found it. Okay, guys. Thanks again. Bye.